I'm Big Cal and welcome to my world. Today I'm going to be unboxing a special edition video game and then testing it and giving off my first impressions. And the game is... Boom! Super Smash Brothers Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch! Yeah, so um, I was excited when this game was announced, even more so when they did the uh, big Nintendo Direct, it was like 45 minutes of Smash Brothers. I pre-ordered this version, the Ultimate version, and then about a month later I decided, do I really need to spend that on one game? I'll just cancel it and I'll get it, the, the normal version, another another day when it goes down in price. Um, yeah, and then it got released and sold really well and then I had the opportunity to buy the Ultimate Edition still I was surprised it was still in stock for a whole £10 less than what it should normally go for so yeah I caved and bought it thing is I've had this for about three days now and I haven't played it yet because I've been too tired the last couple of days to uh, play it because I've been helping my friends move house so now I'm finally going to unbox the bugger and play it so let's have a look, see what's inside. Uh, bugger. Um, wasn't expecting there to be some plastic on there. So we'll get to the trusty screwdriver. And come on. Come on. Okay, it just, just comes off very easily. Didn't need anything. Let's just have a quick look at the back of the box first. First, look, everyone is here. Bigger, better, more Smash content than ever. Indeed. Let's have a look inside the box, shall we? Nice big hefty box opens up. Ooh, pretty fulls. It's got uh, all the characters here that we get to play as, except the DLC ones, of course. And the first thing we get is the game, of course, because, you know, we, we need the game to play the game or something. A very nice box. Lift this bit off and ta-da! Let's move that into frame better. We have the official GameCube controller adapter. Now, um, when the Wii U version came out, I did also pre-order that one with the GameCube controller. It didn't come with the gate with the controller. I mean, just the adapter. And I had to cancel that one because um, I needed to eat that week. So I decided to cancel the pre-order and buy food instead. And you know, always kind of regret that because if I needed food that bad, I could have sold it for like triple the price as soon as it came out. But that would have been naughty. I'm not a scalper. Anyway, I, I never actually bought the Wii U version at all, or the 3DS version, so yeah. So, got this now. Let's, uh, let's have a look inside, shall we? Nothing else in there. Yeah. Ooh, takes two USBs, apparently. Yay. Ooh, it even has official Nintendo on there. And yeah, you know, it's just... Uh, for GameCube controller ports. Very handy. And of course, the Super Smash Brothers edition oh, GameCube controller. Let's get into this. Love me the GameCube controller. It is rather spectacular. One of my favourite controllers of all time. So, very happy to have this version as well. Now, I'm not one of those people who thinks, oh, I can only play Smash using the GameCube controller, but, hey, if it's an option, why not? Oh, let's get in better position for this. Yeah, there we go, nice GameCube controller. Ooh, thumbstick feels nice, C button, C stick feels nice. Buttons pretty much feel the same, it's just that the coating uh, feels um, a little bit different than the ordinary one, but... You know, who cares, or maybe it's just because this one's brand new and mine are all ancient. But yep, looks, feels just like a GameCube controller, as you would expect, because it's Nintendo, and they made GameCube controllers, and this is a GameCube controller. And 
Do, do, do. Yep, just hooks up like that. So that is the Nintendo Switch version, the only version of course, of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. The only thing left to do now is try it and play it and hope nothing falls through my room door because that was a loud bang. So I'll be back in a little while after I've played it. So after uh, having to wait a very long time to install an update because the Nintendo Switch seems to like to download very slowly for me, I finally got to play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah, and well, firstly, it was really cool playing a Switch game with a GameCube controller. And it seems that uh, unlike the Nintendo Wii U, um, you can actually use the GameCube controller for other games. Or at least, as far as I'm aware, you, apparently you couldn't use them on the Wii U for any more games. But yeah, apparently for the Switch you can, such as Mario Kart 8, which... Yeah, I think I might start playing Mario Kart 8 with the GameCube controller just because it's a fucking GameCube controller and I love it. Anyway, Super Smash Brothers, yeah. I'm terrible at Smash Brothers games. Just I just want to get that out there now. I like the Smash Brothers games, hence why I own all of them except for the uh, the Wii U uh, 3DS versions, uh, which I probably will pick up at some point in time. Uh, so while I do love them, I am bad at them. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't take away my enjoyment. So when you watch the footage of me doing terrible, it's because I am in fact terrible. Anyway, so I started off just playing uh, Smash Mode, which is just your your basic choose a fighter, choose an arena, choose opponents, and battle to the death, or whatever rules you want to set up. Uh, I started off playing as Mario, just because you only get, I believe, the original set of characters from the first Smash Brothers game on the N64. Uh, that's what you start off with, and then it quickly builds up. So, as soon as I'd finished messing about playing Mario against Kirby, I immediately had a new challenger! And I got to fight and unlock Ness from the Earthbound series. So, very happy about that. I like Ness and his baseball bat. Tried out some of the other modes as a training mode, which um, I think it'd be nice if there was an actual tutorial mode rather than just, you know, training, which is, you know, where you just go in and battle an opponent and they either don't do anything or they'll fight back, but, you know, it just tells you how much damage you do per what type of hit you hit. Uh, it's not that great. A tutorial mode would be cool because, like I said, I'm very bad at it. And while there isn't technically much to Smash Brothers uh, in terms of moves, um, you know, doing combos and connecting them all together and when to block and how to block, you know, it, it doesn't really explain to you how to do any of this. You just kind of have to go along and learn it as you play it, which, you know, I suppose is fine as well. But one thing that I really need help with is when I fall off the edge. I, I see all these crazy videos of people just like doing like... 50 billion jumps and making the way back up and recovering it's like how do you do that i can barely recover if i fall off an attempt and, and I, I have enough space to do one jump and get back i normally flub that up and die i if i fall down a pit i am dead um yeah so that's one of my biggest weaknesses in the games but that aside uh, I was able to pull off multiple different moves because, you know, they're all kind of basic. Up, down, left and right and then the, the B button, I think, or the A button or something. Um, we do lots of different moves. I was able to do an Ultra Smash move for Mario because the, uh, the, the Smash symbol comes down. All you have to do is beat it to death and then you gain um, enough energy to do a Smash move. Then you just have to press the B button, I believe, when you're facing your opponent. Um... Facing your opponent is the the important part there because I did do one where I wasn't facing my opponent because I didn't have a clue how they worked properly because I've never done an Ultra Smash before. Were they in melee or um, even brawl? I don't know. Like I said, I'm not very good at these games, so a lot of this is and it's been so long since I really played one, so I don't really understand how things work in them. But I was having fun, and that's the important part. I was having fun, even if I was doing terrible. It's just fun to fill the screen with a ton of enemies and just go at it and just button mash sometimes and just see what the fuck happens. It's enjoyable. 
Uh, there is, of course, a lot of strategy in Smash Brothers. You know, and you get the, the the pros that play professionally and they know what the fuck they're doing, and that's fantastic. But for people like me, just mashing buttons and hoping for the best is very enjoyable and I think that's probably going to be the same for a lot of people but since I actually got this one on launch, the first Smash Brothers game I've ever bought on launch um, well I got it a few days after but whatever, I think I'm going to try and play a lot of it and actually learn yeah, I'm going to actually try and learn to play the game very well then maybe even pay for online and you know, if that happens I might go online and play other people and probably get murdered no matter how well I get at the game Anyway, uh, other mod, the, the, the main other mod is um, obviously the uh, World of Light mod, which is the sort of story adventure mod where everybody dies except for Kirby. Yeah! Go Kirby! Go Kirby! Go Kirby! Um, th the video for it was very weird because obviously when they showed the trailer and they had the, the whole theme music and that, you get the theme music at the start of the game with the video of everyone fighting, but then when you get the World of Light, when you actually go into the mode, you get that video with everyone getting killed, but the music isn't there, and the there's narration at the bottom of the screen explaining, but there's no voiceover, but there's no actual talking for the narration, which I felt was really odd, because a lot of the, the video was just kind of silent, and it just felt really off. But yeah, you know, so Kirby is the only one, and then you have to go and fight um, all the you know spirit shadowy versions and bring them back, and you can use them as playable characters. And of course, you also collect spirits, which um, you know you can add as you know like boosts to you um, to your character that you're playing as. So I'm playing obviously just now as Kirby and you can add someone as a boost and you might get extra attack or something. That's your primary one, then you have a couple of secondary ones which can do weird things like I think I've got one where I can immediately like throw a ball of spikes onto the arena from the very beginning of the game, which uh, actually comes in handy. And the more you battle and even if you lose, you gain experience for these spirits and they level up and you get more powerful, which is kind of cool, a bit rpg -y, but very basic. But I think for Smash Brothers, you don't really want an in-depth RPG leveling up system, so this is perfectly fine as far as I'm concerned. Um, unfortunately, I haven't played much of the game just yet, and I got to uh, rob the robot, and got utterly destroyed numerous times, and just thought, I'll stop there. Like I said, not very good at the game yet. Unlocked a couple of characters, and then you can also unlock more spirits by um, going into... Oh, my dog's barking. Going into one of the modes where the, 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 they're unlocked at different times, and you can select them at, at numerous times and things like that. And my dog is really barking now, and I don't know how much of that's going to be on the video, but sorry about that. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's like, ooh, we can get like a really rare spirit here, but he's only available for a few minutes, and if you if you lose against him, that's him gone for a while, and you have to wait for him to respawn at some point in time. Um, so that's a pretty cool thing that I like. Um, unlocked a couple of characters so far. The stages, geez, they, they all seem to be unlocked at once, which is just insane. So you get to the stage select, you're just like, oh, what do I do? So I just normally go random. Yeah, so overall my thoughts on the game so far is it's a ton of fun and plays like a Smash Brothers game, not that I'm any kind of expert, but it plays pretty similar to what I've played with Smash before, so I'm happy. Um, really enjoyable game, glad I bought it, loving the GameCube controller for it as well. So, I'm Big Cal, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.